It's definitely an honor to be the first Frontier League state champion. Uh, we didn't know what we were accomplishing at the time, but looking back, we are uh, very honored to be in that place. I think that the year we won the state championship, we had a bunch of athletes, and I don't think that we really expected that we were going to go as far as we did, but then we all started meshing as a team, and you know, we started coming together, and we really proved to ourselves that we could you know, be more than just athletes and we could actually win a state championship. Um, I think there were a few components to the success of the season. We had a great group of girls, um, worked very well together on and off the court, great dynamics of the team, and also you always have to have a lucky bounce here and there. So thankfully uh, we got to take advantage of that and come out on top. I think that the major component of us winning the state championships that year was the fact that all of us have grown up together. We've played in, you know, basketball against each other in fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and then in ninth and tenth grade, we actually came together and became a team. I couldn't put a specific on how often I revisit it, but I know right now I live with Mattia L. Terry, which was a member of the team, and oftentimes we just come home from school or work and throw memories back and forth at each other. Remember that time? Or maybe we'll throw the DVD in. And it's great to have that kind of memory and, that, you know, especially to live with someone that shares that same experience. I haven't really thought about the state championships that often, but recently, since we just had our 10 year reunion, it brought back some amazing memories that I shared with my teammates. And I can't even describe the achievements that we were able to accomplish that year. I'm not sure if we were motivation for the other teams, but I definitely think that they respected us and saw what we accomplished and you know they wanted to achieve that also. So I can't personally say that we were motivation for them, but I think that they did recognize that in us. But I know that personally we achieved that my sophomore year and we knew what that was like. We knew what that experience was all about and we wanted to achieve that again the two following years, and thankfully we were able to uh, my senior year. There were some teams that were in our league that year that also had some great athletes and were competition for us, so that I know that there were certain teams out there that we were motivated to make sure that we beat. Um, so I'm sure that teams were also motivated to beat us too because we also had good athletes. I can remember being in the sectional playoffs and I was playing a forward and I took an outside jump shot. And the memory that stands out in my <laughs> head is all the coaches, as soon as I went to pull up for that jump shot, they were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but I ended up swishing the hoop and we ended up winning the sectional finals. <laughs> uh, sophomore year, mm -hmm. um, we had just won the sectional final and we had a practice at IHC before the regionals against South Courtright but it took place at Liverpool and we had a phenomenal practice. After practice, um, Mr. Fortunato, which was the JV coach at the time and he was an assistant coach for us, he called us over into a huddle and he said, there's no doubt in my mind that you girls are ready for this weekend. And it just confirmed any doubt that I had, you know, we, to be confident in our team. and had a great feeling going in and you know we were obviously successful so he uh, he really made a difference. I stay in contact with many of the players from that season. Uh, more importantly the person who I remain in most contact with is my cousin Marisa Vespa. We happen to be neighbors so I see her often and we reminisce all the time about memories that we shared in that basketball season. A lot of the girls on the team as Caitlin uh, said earlier, we grew up with. So we were close before before we were able to have that accomplishment. And um, I live with Mattia, and uh, we all stay in close contact, especially when we're home for the holidays.